What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme here. I have my hairband on. That's why you can see my forehead. Uh, I've been playing this. I've been playing this game called World Box, and uh, you know it's really incredible. It, it's it's really cool. Um, and last night, uh, you know, before I went to bed, I started this sort of world. And I put I put four. I, I hate this game is very silly, um, and it makes me feel very silly. Very silly talking about. I'm just gonna take my hair. It makes me feel you know pretty pretty silly talking about it. But um, you know. Um, Sorry, that's my current show. Um, I put like four humans and like four uh, like orcs and like four um, elves and four dwarfs, I believe. Um, and I, I left it running overnight on the highest speed possible. And I set up my computer to take a screenshot every second. Uh, so then when I would wake up, you know, I'd put it all together into a into a time lapse, right? And um, you know, I actually I actually set that up. And let me grab my webcam and put it here. There you go. Put it in the center. Can I do that? Uh, oh well, I don't need to. Um, so, you know, just just some really some really crazy things occur. Um, like, yeah. So you can see how at first, you know, they're they're sort of expanding here. Um, they're all like independently expanding. Uh, the the humans split off into two factions. Um, and then the dwarves, the whole time they kind of stay up here, um, and then the elves, they sort of expand to their thing, and then the, the orcs sort of expand on their own, and then eventually they sort of, um, oh, the elves split up for a second, but eventually their first contact, and I feel like, I think the first contact between the two races is between the elves and the orcs here, um, and I know that orcs don't, um, they, they sort of naturally have an inclination toward war with humans, um, but I don't think that's the case with elves, um, and so I think they, I think they made a treaty with here because um, otherwise they would be fighting a lot and their armies would be these, these banner things are, are their armies I, I feel like their armies would be in each other's territories if they were at war um, but yeah you know then the elves make contact um, with the humans and at, and at this point you know um, the elves are actually um, spoilers um, at this point the the elves are actually um, the the most populated uh, race in the, in the in the city right um, and it's actually really interesting because um, all the humans are up here, right? And all the orcs are down here. These guys are like arch enemies. And uh, the elves are kind of like a mediator, right? Um, you know, and then they turn into the Ethel Forest, which um, eventually becomes the whole, you know, the whole elvish sort of state. Um, yeah, you can see how it's the Ethel Forest takes over Yoso Rua here, um, just over time. Um, and something I find interesting, and I'm not sure why, I think it's because of the lack of population density, maybe. Um, the Ethel Forest, like the elves sort of just like decay. Um, like, you see over time, it just sort of, like, you see that it sort of just starts, like, disappearing, and I, I'm actually not sure why that happens. Um, but, you know, it results in them kind of being split up, like, like, Swiss cheese a little bit. Uh, and then eventually, they're pretty much just banished, uh, to down here. Um, yeah, they're just, uh, the Apple Ward, like, all of the, of the Elvish race is, race is just, uh, comprised of 40 people down on this island, right? Um, you know, eventually the orcs sort of move away from their, their home spot and they kind of move up. Um, and that's actually really interesting because, you know, the humans up here, uh, now the orcs and the humans are in direct contact. And, uh, you know, of course they start, they start fighting. Um, and it's actually really interesting uh, because Realm of the Reader was sort of the, um, the human sort of um, hegemony. That, that was like the, the country that was in charge of the humans or the kingdom. Uh, but then eventually they split off into this thing called the Eric Kingdom. And uh, of course, you know, uh, the Eric Kingdom seemed like kind of an offshoot, but you'll see what happens with them later. Um, so, yeah, it's really interesting. And, you know, uh, they're just doing their thing. And, uh, you know, eventually the humans sort of... Oh, yeah, something happens with the... As I said before, the, the, the dwarves kind of, like, stay up here. Um, I'm pretty sure... I, I think what happened here is one of the one of the human kingdoms went to war with the dwarves, but one of the other kingdoms was like friends with the dwarves, so they split off into Rekil here. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, you can see that the that the dwarves um, there's only like fifty this entire time, and I don't know if it's because this land is really bad or whatever. Um, but they just never really expanded um, like like the other kingdoms did. Um, and if I uh, if we wait a little bit. Uh, yeah, you can see how, you know, the amount of dwarves just go down, you know, and then it's then it's taken over by the humans, uh, which is which is really weird. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, the realm of the rear kind of goes, um, 
they're they're sort of based all on the top here, but then they kind of go to the left. Um, in the Aerie Kingdom, it's like it's sort of like a left and right type divide. Um, and then the, the orcs are still here, uh, but then eventually the Aerie Kingdom just takes over, you know, all of all of humanity. Um, they kind of split off into their own things, but you know, eventually the the orcs are killed enough, and you know, then then he, then the humans just take. Over. This is when I was asleep, so I can't give super detailed um things over this. But the realm of the rear, as you can tell, uh, just sort of fully taken over by the Eric Kingdom eventually. Um, yeah, here they are, being invaded. Bang, no more realm of the rear. And it's crazy because they were this entire thing up here. It was like all of humanity. And now, you know, they're they're gone, right? And that's crazy. Um, and you know, um, eventually there's sort of this, um, there's sort of like these three countries uh, that are sort of at peace with the Eric Kingdom, but I think uh, they end up taking over Ras. I, I, I think Ras tries, no, I think Ubu tries to expand or something. Like one of he, one of these countries tries to expand, and then the Eric Kingdom fights back because, of course, they have six thousand people. Um, and I guess we'll see who's. Oh yeah, I think it was. I believe it was Ras who's first. Yeah, it was Ras. Um, and then I'm pretty sure Ras had a treaty with these guys or something. And uh, you know, this is all stuff that you can see in the menus. I just didn't want to mess up the time lapse. <laughs> um, you can see like who has treaties with who, and you know who the kings are, what the what the battles are. Um, but you know, I was very zoomed out, very focused on this time lapse. So yeah, then Ibu takes over. Ibu is taken over, and then uh, the Riri hegemony here. Oh, these these guys sort of show up for a little bit. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> everything splits up again. Um, but you know, uh, eventually, you know, it's all sort of the Eric Kingdom, and then they take over everywhere. And I'm I'm not sure what the situation is, but I'm pretty sure that um, when a kingdom takes over an an entire map, they can't really split up. I believe. Um, but yeah. Then it's just the Eric Kingdom, which is crazy because it started out with, you know, four of every race just doing their thing, right, originally. And then it, it, it became, you know, just the Eric Kingdom. And it wasn't even called the Eric Kingdom originally, it was called the Realm of the Rear, right? And then the Realm of the Rear is taken over by the Eric Kingdom, and then, you know, that's just them, right? That, you know, um, it's just it's just crazy to me. It's, it's like, really insane. Um, you know, this game is, is very fun. It's a very fun game. Uh, yeah, all right. I hope everybody has a good day. Um, yeah. Today, uh, oh yeah, today for breakfast I had, um, sorry, today for breakfast, um, I had a banana and some quinoa salad, um, that's kind of brunch really, I had coffee with that, uh, and then for, for dinner we had, um, chicken wings that are made in the oven, and those are pretty good. Nothing's really going on, uh, you know, honestly when I woke up at like 10, I kind of worked on my history eye until 6. So we're going for like eight hours. Um, a lot of it was just kind of sitting around, kind of just staring at it. Because um, I don't know, I've, it's, it, I, I have trouble paying attention to it. Um, you know, maybe that's something I should look into. But um, yeah, so I was just working on that. And, um, you know, planning on finishing it and turning it in tomorrow. Hopefully, maybe, maybe I'll turn it in on Friday, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so hope everybody has a good day. Um, yeah, all right, see you. Dude.